Hello and welcome back to the desktop where all the magic happens. My name's Paul the Abominable Llama. Today we're going to be playing some more Crypt of the Necrodancer. Uh, we've only done one episode of this so far, and uh, that was because I was having a lot of trouble learning to record at the time. And I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit, because that was way too loud for me. Uh, shoot, um, I want to exit this. I did not mean to go in there. Hey. Well, uh, we'll actually just go with it. See how this goes. Um, <laughs> wow. I did not expect to be playing this right away. I, I, th I thought it was going to get in some sort of an intro. So yeah, it's been absolutely forever since we played anything like this. Uh, with the exception of Binding of Isaac. Uh, we already died. <laughs> so um, I guess we're, we're going to try doing the, the daily runs. Return to Lobby. The, these daily challenges. Because um, I believe the random seeds created by the, uh, the person who creates the game and it gets updated daily, obviously. So uh, we're going to try doing that, because uh, zones 1 through 4, I've gotten to zone 4, but um, I haven't been able to actually beat the final boss. But uh, let's give this daily challenge a try, and uh, see how that goes. Um, jump right in. Daily challenge, complete all zones in one run. All players get the same dungeon, resets daily at midnight GMT. And that's like general midnight? I don't know what that means. Uh, continue? Yeah, why not? Let's give it a shot. See where we rank. <clears throat> so this is kind of like the, the Binding of Isaac daily kind of things, from what I can tell. And, um, sorry, I'm, I'm really focusing because you got to do this to the beat, and it's very tough to put dialogue over. Alright, we're going to grab that spear as soon as we possibly can, because that stuff's very expensive. Alright. Got that coin multiplier going. Okay, we do have a hundred coins now, so I kind of want to go grab that spear real quick. And I think we're actually going to die really soon. Shake that, are you? I really wish you could put like, oh fuck, oh, um, high board leader scores. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna have to get good. We're being total scrubs right now. Steam friends only. I'm the only one out of my friends who's actually played this game really. Wow. <laughs> A lot of people actually finished. Uh, so. That, that's really impressive, I'm not gonna lie. They all beat the they beat all four zones. Holy crap. But I mean you could potentially get like really overpowered in the first dungeon and just be good to go. So let's play um uh, Hmm. Let's play zone one. Let's just play zone one, because it's been forever since I've actually played this. I don't know what we've got going on here. I think we've got the broadsword and the miner's helmet, which is nice. And then we just picked up a torch. Hoo hoo cha 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 cha. La da 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 da. 
There we go. Stairs unlocked already. So I feel like this is actually going to not take all that long, but if you like this game, don't hesitate to check it out, because it's a really fun game, and maybe we could like compare scores or something. Very enjoyable, to say the least. Hmm, where's the shopkeep? Here he is. We've got the chicken, and we'll grab the backpack, and that's it. We'll leave it at that, because uh, we don't need any of the other stuff right now. The whip has the same attack radius, but I think it only attacks one enemy at a time, if I'm not mistaken. Got a potion over here. Nice. Get all that money, yo. Alright, next floor. So, each or has the the tempo up. Sorry, <laughs> I get really caught up in the music. Um, so lately, I've just been working on school. I had a bunch of tests last week. Dark Souls 2, 3 came out, and I spent the entire weekend beating that. And I beat it, and I plan on creating some sort of no-nonsense kind of playthrough, but I'm not sure if I want to play Dark Souls, all the Dark Souls in chronological order, or something of that effect. Because I think it'd be a lot of fun to play through the entire series and go over a lot of the lore before you actually play the full Dark Souls 3, so that way you guys have like a, a good amount of background knowledge before we actually jump into the, the final thing, you know? Or the final thing for now, is what I guess you could call it. Let's see what the shopkeep's got. It looks like he's got some sort of headband, some sort of boots, and something else. He's got the boots. Can we put this on? No, we give up the miner's helmet, and that's too important to me. Alright, so the, the backpack let us carry the cheese. So, actually, we're going to use that right away. It says left and right. There we go. We used it. And then we're back up to relatively full health. So it looks like that <coughs> heals us every time we get a kill, or that blood spear does. Got him. I don't know where the boss is. I'm a little worried right now because we haven't found him yet. Is that a glass whip or just a strong whip? That's uh, just a strong whip. We'll take that. Heals each level. Do we have anything in that slot? No, we don't. Perfect. All of that was useful. All right. Wow, that's a lot. Oh, jeez. Wow, lots of coins. <laughs> I think that's one other interesting thing about the whip versus the, um... Oh, well... Deep Blues! Alright. Let's get used to this uh, beat real quick. Because it's a little bit slower than it was. Uh, there's a bunch of traps in this game. I'm not sure if I explained them ever. Let's attack the main guy. 
Okay, he's got one health left. Got him. Got him. Fireball up left is the shield, down left is the bomb. And then I think we actually finished Dad it. Was always coming and going on his adventures. But this time he seemed more excited. He said he'd found it, some great treasure. When I was older, I found the notes he left behind. Directions to a graveyard. Uncle Eli tried to stop me. But Dad had been gone for two years. I had to find him. Oh. So, what I forgot to put in the video in any either of the video was um what was it the the cutscene before the game actually starts so let's go back to the lobby um basically what happens in the cutscene is she grabs that that information and she goes to the graveyard and uh, she's digging up whatever it is looking for her dad and uh, she gets she falls into like this catacombs kind of area which is this all this nonsense going on in here and um, basically what ends up happening to her is that uh, the necrodancer steals like her heart or whatever and um, yeah so steals her heart and now she's forced to run through the catacomb stuff to find her father more or less um, there's a bunch of other mechanics in this game that are uh, very interesting, but that I don't really have a bunch of time to go over. So we did finish a dungeon. Next time we'll do uh, dungeon number two. Um, let's do one of these real quick to uh, go over. Well, just to fill up the last like three minutes if we don't finish this. It's like a... Oh, shit. I fucked it up. <laughs> Alright, let's give it one more try. Quick restart. Two, three, two, three. So there's... It, it just shows you a bunch of different ways you can avoid a dragon and take it down with a dagger and nothing else. So, I, I messed it up again. <laughs> I'm just not thinking. I feel like I'm rushed, like I'm going to the beat still. But uh, this character is called the Bard, and basically he sets the tempo. So like if I just sit here, the dragon will never move. But I feel like I'm still moving to the beat, you know? So it's down to attack, you move over a little bit, and it's got that little bit of a wind up, and it waits a few seconds. So you, in its way, you attack, you move out of the way, and you just repeat that process. Forty coins, and we out, yo. We out. Peace out, dragon. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. It's been about thirteen minutes, so not quite fifteen. Uh, but we'll we'll work on that. We'll try to make the dungeons last a bit longer. We'll do other things. Um, hopefully tomorrow there will be another challenge. It says seven hours because it's about noontime where I'm at. And uh, hopefully by that time, GT time, GTM time is uh, midnight. So I'll see you guys tomorrow with another one of these. If you like the video, please do not hesitate to let me know. It lets me know that I'm doing what I'm setting out to do. And that is to entertain you. And I would really appreciate that if you let me know that I'm doing what... I'm accomplishing my goal for this episode, I guess. Um, in other news, if you have any ideas on what I should be doing or other other game modes to play, should I practice some of the bosses or mini bosses? Should I go through a lot of the codex and those uh, quote unquote at master advanced techniques? If you want me to just train with some of the mobs and show you guys how to deal with them. Do not hesitate to let me know. I, I'd love to know what you guys want to see because uh, this is entertainment for you guys and this is uh, it, it's part of 
what I want to create on this channel. And it's more of a community, you know. Not just me telling you, hey, I'm playing this game, watch me play. Um, I, I want to help you guys with your games as well, if, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Um, so if you do have any ideas on what I should be playing, what to do within this game or any other game, do not hesitate to let me know, do know down in the comment section down below. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe because I will be producing these hopefully on the daily as long as I have a decent internet connection. Um, I want you to remember that Candace, who happens to be our main character, Can Candice, Candence, Can 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 Cadence, 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 perhaps. Anyway, she loves you. Not this llama. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.